Welcome back everybody, it's Easy, and we are back in Ultimate Goal. This is a clan that I joined yesterday. We're in day two. We're in a active war right now, and these guys are just rocking, man. Uh, what we did though is, uh, I've got a couple of different farm raids that we did. I've got one from the clan leader, Terminator. Uh, he comes in with a minor attack. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is still one person left in Clash of Clans that uses minors. Uh, he comes in with a minor attack on a, a farm raid. Uh, not the toughest base, but I think I usually get about 22% with miners. So let's see what he does here. Looks like he's going to come in and use giants and some wizards as a kill squad. Try to clear out a little bit and then bring the miners in. And uh, just to give some background on everyone, I've been watching the clan for two days now. And they've filtered through a bunch of different players. And they, uh, they have a really bright future. I know that they're already at a level 11. But these guys really know how to, how to keep the clan in peak performance condition. Uh, they don't let anyone in the clan that's under level 20 if they have a max Town Hall 9 for 20 on the heroes. And they have a couple other stipulations for their players. And it may sound kind of rough or kind of hard uh, to keep players in there. But their win record is so good that everyone wants to join. And so at that point, you can be picky about who you let in the clan. So no sense in having guys. They're going to have to spend six or eight months to try to get them up to a war type level. Because their wars are pretty uh, pretty intense. So here's Tarm. He, he's, he's pretty much cleared out the whole base with miners. I believe he cuts this one short. And um, I'll, I'll, you'll notice that a lot of players, instead of getting the three stars, getting the full trophy count on it. They'll cut it short to try to maintain that same trophy level. Uh, he's staying in Crystal, and Crystal is a really rich area to farm in. So there's, you know, if you if you want to stay at the same area that you're in, then you'll 80, 95, 98 percent it like he just did. So great attack from Term. He calls him the two star noob. That's what he calls himself. I haven't seen I haven't seen him attack in war, but apparently he likes a 99 percent war kind of funny thing for the leader to call himself but great guy he's got a great clan you can tell uh, a person by who he surrounds himself with and he's got a lot of really good people around him so been a pleasure for me to be in the, in the clan with him so the next two raids are actually done by too easy by, by me this one right here is using the flex this is an attack that we've developed and, and damaged and this is the queen walk. Uh, come in with the queen walk on the bottom left of the, or the top left. Come in with the bowler walk on the top right. And the goal here, if you haven't seen this attack before, the goal here is to have the queen walk and the bowler walk over on the outside of the of the base. And then you enter the middle with a, a, a large kill squad. Kind of call it, we call it the wrecking ball. And uh, th in this case, we have a bunch of giants, a bunch of uh, Valkyries that come into the core. This is a Town Hall 10. It, it, was a, it wasn't a completely dead Town Hall 10. Um, it did have one of the Inferno Towers down. And when you have a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10, you don't usually plan on... I mean, you, you try to 3-star, of course, but that, that's not usually expected to do. So I was really surprised by coming through in this attack. Uh, did a lot of practice attacks while I was in the clan. These guys stay honed in on, on, on their, their skill by... by attacking each other constantly I mean there was just constant friendly attacks going on all day long uh, it's an international clan like our clan is like damage Inc is but uh, their clan is international so they have players from all over the world in it and so they're literally active all day long 24 hours a day so it was good to see another clan that's just like the one that I that that I'm in that's active 24 hours a day because you have people from all over the world now there is a small disadvantage to that as well uh, we're trying to organize a, a an, an arranged war with them but because arranged wars usually have a much smaller time limit maybe an hour or you know, they want to do a half hour but they don't have they haven't done it yet they don't know how how quick a half hour war goes and how crazy it is but let's say if you want to have a two hour war well it's hard to do with all of your best players when some of you guys live in California and some of them live in uh, Australia and some live in India because you know that's such a wide range of time that pe pe you know you're bound to have people sleeping at that point so next attack is you're gonna see this attack a lot in the rest of the video 
Um, this is the last farm raid, and then we're gonna go into the war that we're in. The war was primarily Laloon. This is attack as a Laloon as well. Uh, they they utilize the Laloon in war because of how I mean it's just the it's the best attack in Clash right now. That's what they practice the most. That's what they use the most, and they use it very effectively. Uh, this was uh, close to max base. It, this is a close to max base. It wasn't quite max, but uh, ha had plenty of incentive to go after it. it had uh, all, all kinds of resources on there. Um, now, for for the loan that I use, I actually bring a couple baby dragons, and I do that for two reasons. First reason is they're they're great to help funnel the balloons into the base, but second is when you tr when I try to pull the clan castle troops. If I do pull troops out. I don't have to just rely on the queen and a poison spell or two to take care of the clan castle troops. I can also use the baby dragons, which are great. As long as you keep them separate, you don't want to put in two baby dragons on top of each other because you know that at that point they lose their um, their baby rage. <laughs> they lose the baby rage. Okay, now we're going to get into the first war attack. Um, I scrolled up and down the screen here. I think... The first 10 attacks in a row were three stars. So they just hit it off right away. The war's not over as of right now because we did have a bunch of guys sleeping still. But uh, every every attack they did was a three star until we got until we covered all the town hall nines. And there was either town hall eights, which we have some other guys down the bottom of the clan that are town hall eight that will take care of that. And then we had to move up to the town hall tens. So when the town hall nines start attacking the tens, that's when you start losing those three stars. But other than that, when the Town Hall 9s attack the 9, there were 3 stars. This first attack is by your mama. Yo mama. And he, I think I covered him in the last video too. He likes to use this uh, double bowler, double walk. That double bowler walk. <laughs> you can tell it's 4am. If you can't tell by my voice, you can tell by what I'm saying. <laughs> so anyway, double bowler walk. He comes in at 2 different locations on the base. He uses uh, uh, wall breakers to bust into the base. Uh, now, for for those of you that use bowlers, well, you already know because you're you're at Town Hall 10 that you have to bring wall breakers. If not, the bowlers, because of their range, they they can walk around the outside and shoot over the walls and take care of defenses and, and buildings from the outside in. And so the programming will let them do that instead of trying to hit a like the giants. They'll hit a wall every time. You spawn giants, they're going to hit a wall and go into the base. If you spawn bowlers, unless you open up the base for them, they will usually choose to go around. So you have to make sure you bring bring your wall breakers on these attacks. Uh, we've actually had a video out on how important wall breakers are. And not to go off on a tangent with them, but they are a huge part of, of a bowler attack. You have to get into the base. You have to make sure you have holes open before they choose to walk away from that area. So... Great attack, attacking number one. He's at Town Hall 11. They were at Town Hall 10. That was their number one though. So, number one versus number one goes to Yo Mama. Three star. Great, great attack. Great player. He's just an overall great player. He's in the clan all the time. He's helping the, the guys that are, that are working their way up. So whenever you have Town Hall 11, Kid Chaos. He is a newer player in the clan. Older player. Been around since the beginning of the game. Really, really good attack here. He uses the baby dragons to create a funnel. First baby dragon gets sniped up by the air defense a little, but still uses the, the clan castle troops. Bowlers in the clan castle. He's going to put them in on the right hand side of the base. And what he's trying to do is take out those air defense, tr uh, trigger the clan castle troops, take out the clan castle troops, and really cut the base in half pretty much. So it's a lot easier for him to take out the rest of the base with the Laloon. Um, Ha has dra uh, dragon and balloons in the clan castle uses a heal spell a rage spell a jump spell uses a bunch of spells but in taking out two air defenses and the clan castle troops that's just a huge advantage for the for the laloon the laloon's already so strong as it is that when you cut away half the air defenses and c take away the clan castle troops i mean you're really giving yourself a good advantage here so great tactics comes in the top with a couple balloons a couple uh hay spells and then he comes in the side with a few more Lava Hound and the rest of the balloons. Does a, a bit of a surgical deployment. You know, he doesn't just drop them all in. He puts two or three on every defense. Uh, uses his last spell to push the balloons down towards the bottom of the base. Now, he kind of drags out the bottom part, but he's got, I think, seven or eight balloons. And he's only got two defenses left or maybe three left. 
So he, he cuts it a little close here. But he does get the balloons to go around and take out the last defense. He's got one. Uh, looks like one or two lava hound left. He's got a, wi a wizard up and the balloon. So he's, he's doing fine. So, now something I noticed about his attack is he didn't bring any minions. If I was to give any advice on this attack, I would always suggest bring at least four or five minions to help clean up because that might be the difference between a 99 or 98 percent two star and a three star. The minions, and, and, you know, if you bring five, that's only two less balloons, and they help that much more. I've seen a lot of attacks where uh, the balloons are coming in; they're, they're out of spells, and the balloons are coming in for that last defense, and you put in one or two minions, especially for a wizard tower. A, wiz a wizard tower is going to take at least two shots to knock out a maxed out uh, minion for Town Hall 9. And that's just enough time for you to be able to get on uh, on that last defense with your balloons. Instead of, uh, instead of the, the defense tagging the, the balloons on the way in, they turn and shoot at the minions. So bring a couple minions to these. Okay, this next attack is by Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes is a co-leader in the clan. Um, very active player. Really, really great addition to this clan. Uh, they have a they have several co-leaders in the clan that could easily be leaders in other clans, and that's that makes a great clan too. When you have a bunch of leaders as your co-leaders. And now Matt, he's going to use very similar tactics. <clears throat> excuse me, as uh, Kid Chaos did, he's going to come in and drop a drop a jump spell and use his heroes and use a kill squad to get into the core of the base and to wreak havoc on the core of the base before he even starts the Laloon portion of the attack. And by the time he starts dropping lava hounds and balloons, he's already got a couple of defenses down. So th the balloons come in. Uh, he puts all the spells in up top. He doesn't really have a lot of spells left, but he doesn't need them. He's got all the defenses down already. There's a really quick attack. Probably to, I think it took under under a minute and a half to get the entire attack off. So another three star. I think they started off 12 in a row with three stars. First 12 bases in a row. And I think the first one star was actually a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10. So th that shows you what kind of pressure they're putting on other clans. And, and these are fast attacks they're going on they're not just facts as in the length of the attack but the start of the war starts and uh maybe an hour into it they've got nine or ten attacks in and that puts a lot of pressure on the other clan when they see uh, the attacks adding up one attack after another and especially when it's going up in uh, multiples of three 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 then it puts a lot of pressure on the other clan to, to scramble together to get everyone on and try to get it get everyone attacking to try to keep up because if you come on and you're down by 50, you're already kind of defeated mentally, unless you're a really strong clan. Okay, this next attack was by Too Easy. I wanted to throw in the attack that I did. Not because it's spectacular or anything, but I was actually part of the three-star rally. And this is a base that I have I have actually warned about this type of base several times. It's a Town Hall 9 ring base. And f from my experience, uh, you know, I don't have the most experience, but I've been playing for a couple of years. And Town Hall 9 ring bases do not work. I, I, I love attacking Town Hall 9s. I would, you know, swim through a river of shit to get to the Town Hall 9 ring base and <laughs> attack it. Excuse me. But, so, coming in, you, you divide, when, whenever you see a Town Hall 9 ring base, what you want to do is you want to divide it up into sections. And you're just going to attack each section individually. Because you can easily overpower each section of this base. Because I'm using air troops, they have four uh, air defenses, and I'm going to attack all four air defenses with a separate group of troops instead of trying to put all the troops in one area and try to bring them around the whole base. Which, because if that happens, what that what happens is that risks the troops going into the middle. And if I don't have sufficient troops going to the middle all at one time, then they're just going to chip away at the middle and probably not get enough damage to take out the core, and th that will be a 90% to one star. So, and, it's, and this is what I'm talking about. A couple Lava Hounds actually go to the core. Now, there are spells left. There's a, there's a, um, I believe there's a couple Haste spells and a couple of Rage spells. But I didn't use the spells there because those Lava Hounds aren't going to do em enough damage. But as the Balloons come in, put down the Rage spell. 
the balloons start coming over the core. They have several different. Uh, they have several defenses they have to get through, including two air sweepers, including an air defense, and a couple of Tesla. Those are all real dangerous things for the for the balloons. But at this point, there's too many balloons and too many spells left. So they take out the core. They take out town hall, and that will. That's about it for this base. Wipe this base as well. So another great war for these guys. Uh, and for those of you who know me, excuse my voice. I'm a little tired so kind of choppy on the video but I have so much stuff planned that I had to try to get it in so anyway appreciate everyone that's watched till the end um, if you're new to the new to the channel like the video I, I'm not always sounding like this this is my uh, overworked voice you know you, you know you know you're doing something when you're actually overworked from playing clash I don't know I don't know if that's sad or good news I don't know but anyway appreciate everyone out there for listening until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everyone.